Hi uh, guys, it's Bobby with MMA UK and today I'm here with the number four ranked Bellator heavyweight, Linton the Swarm Vassell. Linton, thank you very much for joining me today, buddy. Yeah, no worries, mate. Thank you for having me on. You doing okay? How how, how you've been finding training in the last few months? I, can't, I can imagine it's been pretty crazy out there in Florida. Yeah, where all systems go here, um, we didn't really stop training. So it's just a normal day here, you know, um, the training's been going on. So um, we had sparring today. It was a it was a hard day. Um, about to have a little little nap in a little bit. No, I don't blame you at all. Um, <laughs> have a nap. So first question: Obviously, recently Bellator have actually put out their rankings, and you are number four in the heavyweight rankings at the minute. Yeah. So I know you've uh, said on your Instagram today that you got a fight announcement coming up. So I won't press too much on that. But do you will you be taking some someone sort of of a similar ranking, or perhaps a little bit higher up? Um, all I can say is I signed the fight about today. That's all I can say. That's okay. I, I won't press you on it. I won't press you on it. Um, <laughs> of course, it's been almost four years since you last took on Ryan Bader. Obviously, that was down at light heavyweight. That's right. Do you... I know he's obviously he's got a fight um, booked, obviously, in the light heavyweight Grand Prix, but is that still the end game to get that rematch and to get that shot at the belt? Yes, 100%. The The goal has not stopped. I want that heavyweight title. If Bader's got it at the time, you know, I get to fight for it, then, you know, that's that's that's, that's how it's going to be. So do you feel like in the move up to heavyweight, you'll, you've you been able to make some more of those adjustments that you think are going to be able to stylistically keep up with someone? Because obviously he's got relentless wrestling, but yeah. your last two wins have been by heavy ground and pound, so... You're definitely yeah. no slouch on the mat yourself. Yeah, well, I, I, I really feel like I haven't got to cut that weight no more. I haven't got to cut mm. the 30 pounds. And I really feel like my last two fights, it really has showed that I've found my new place at heavyweight. And I, and I feel yeah. good. I really do. It, um, it was a long time coming, but I feel like we're there, we're there now. And, you know... Um, Get, get this next fight on the go. I'm ready to go. I uh, can't wait for the announcement again. Not going to press yeah. you on it, but I'm looking forward to that one. If we come in, um, if we come in. <laughs> no worries. I know, obviously, you're living out in Florida in the minute. That's where yeah. you train, but very much, very much a British boy, very much an English guy. Yeah. Do you still, even though training out there, do you still feel like you're carrying that flag for sort of the UK MMA scene? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. That, that's not going to stop. You know, um, I'm here and I'm, I'm flying the flag high. Flying the flag high. That's good to hear. It's good to hear. Obviously, with everything sort of opening up, we're doing more events. Bellator are obviously back on the events as well. When the next UK event comes over to Bellator, could you see yourself possibly, I mean, obviously being on that card, but could you see yourself headlining that card? Yeah, I've been trying to press for this Bellator London card for a while. So, you know, it's been, it's been a good couple of years now since I fought in the UK. So mm. I'd love to be headliner. So, you know. I, 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 was, I was at your last uh, fight in the UK. Okay. Um, so, yeah, please, Scott Coca, get me on. Whenever, <laughs> let me know. I'm sure you're top of the list. You and MVP are going to be up on that main co-main 100%. We, we need to be. We need to be. As I say, it's been so long. Uh, I think it was 2017. Yeah, if I remember correctly, yeah. that was about right. You know, um, uh, to come ahead and things to it. That'd be, be good to see it. Yeah. Now, obviously, outside of the fight game, I know you're a pretty active guy. I mean, obviously, I know you're a big fan of your guns being in America. But also, I know I'd see a lot of exotic animals on your Instagram. Is that like something you've picked up in Florida? Or you've always been a bit of a bit of a fan of like the, because I've seen the snakes, pythons, that sort of thing, scorpions. So it wasn't like I never, never liked them. They're just not as big in the in the UK. Uh, my friend had a snake, um, and I looked after his snake for a little while. And mm. it wasn't until I came here, and then I went to the reptile shop, you know, just had a look around. And then I was like, you know what, I might actually get, get myself a snake. And I felt like from then, once I bought one, that, that was it, you know. I, I found a sort of new love. We love for them, but I'm, I'm always in there. They sponsor me as well. The reptile, um, the jungle, Florida. Um, the mm -hmm. they, they they sponsor me as well, so I'm always in there. 
Um, especially when I got something new in, I'll go in and you know have a little play with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I'm a fan of it myself, but obviously, like you say, in the UK, not so easy to get your hands on those kind yeah. of things. In Florida, uh, everywhere. I've actually been to a couple of reptile shops in in England, and even getting to hold a snake, it's like, oh, like yeah, it's like yeah. do it. I'm like, well, how am I going to know if I bond with the snake if I, if I want it exactly? Um, it's the same way you want to do that with a cat, with a dog, with a snake. Anyway. You sort of want to see if it likes you and you like it. You may not even like it when you take it home. So um, I that was a bit weird that we mm. wasn't going to do that. But, you know, I'm here and I would never think now. Um, scorpions, bearded dragons, monitor lizards. Yeah, oh, damn, love it, man. Love it. Um, I don't know, it's another thing you're involved with, along with a lot of other guys in boxing and MMA, is fighting for autism i know you're an ambassador for that so yeah. how did you get involved with that um particular organization yourself um so the guy paul the um the founder um he contacted mm. me um he contacts quite a lot of obviously high pro fighters whether it be any organization um and he, he asked me out and said you know do you want to um be an ambassador for fighting for autism and i said yes so I've been with them now for about a good five years, um, pushing the cause. So um, that's a fantastic cause. Happened. He just reached out to me, and I was happy to you know be a part of the team. It's good to see you doing that. And it's going back to the fighting. I know you said that obviously yeah. you found a new place at heavyweight, but with obviously the light heavyweight division in Bellator being so exciting, you got the light the heavyweight Grand Prix. You got yeah. these UFC guys who have come over. You know Corey Anderson. Rumble Johnson, Yoel Romero. Are yeah. you do you still keep your eye on that division? You know, possibly thinking about a move back down at any point, or are you pretty much set at heavyweight now? Yeah, um, watching it because obviously exciting, and my boy Rumble yeah. joined, but never, no, nah. ever <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a, I, I can imagine it's a tough cut for you because you're a big guy. So getting that getting that down to two hundred five can't yeah. be easy. Yeah. Ah, uh, the the weight the weight cut was it just got harder and harder as as the years yeah. went. So yeah, um, not not having to cut weight for my last three fights, you know, I yeah, I don't think I could do that again. No, but do you, so who do you? I know obviously friend of Rumble, but who can you see Rumble getting to that final after his yeah incredible knockout in his first fight, or who do you who do you see sort of getting to that final bout? Again, I'm gonna back my boy. Rumble, I have to back him, you know. Um, again, it was his first fight back in four years. And what I liked was, even though he did get rocked, he weathered the storm and then came. Mm -hmm. And then it was like round two just woke him up. It was like, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of people. Yeah, it was like. Who've been, who've, who've been sort of like, oh, he got rocked, he got rocked. But yeah. for me, that's more impressive. Yeah, it's, it's what you do with it after. Exactly. You're not, of course you're going to get rocked. It's a fight. Like, it's it, combat sport. What, what do you expect to happen when someone punches you in the face? You know, it's one of them things. Um, for, yeah, but for him to come back and then get the, the, the depressive knockout, you know, um, that shows that the power is still there. And he touches, yep. you, you go into bed. So, yeah, he's, he's got a tough fight. Yeah, Nimkov the champion next. But again... He, he, la he lands that punch, Nimkov's going out. His, and his grappling, because he's competed in a lot of quintet and things like that, it's, yeah. I, I don't think a lot of people who don't watch those things realise how much he's come along in that sort of world. He's pretty, he's a very well-rounded guy these days. Yeah, you still there? I lost you. Oh, yeah, you, you're all good. Can you still hear me? Yeah. On, my, on my end. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, can so you, you said, um, I can hear you, um, oh, I've, got, I've got a call and then... Uh, oh, okay, no worries, no worries. But, um, okay, I'll, just move, I'll move on to the next one. It's the last question, uh, and it's, it's yeah, probably no something you're quite sick of talking about, but because everyone's talking about it at the minute. Where do, you, where do you stand on this whole celebrity YouTube boxing sort of world at the minute? And, <laughs> Uh, it's obviously it's, it's hard a, to talk about it after this Floyd fight. Yeah, a load of nonsense, but they're making the money. Yeah, you know what else can you say? They're making you can't the money. hate on it. You can't hate on it. 
I hate on making money, you know. No. Uh, if I can get one of them fights, you know, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, <laughs> let me punch oh, you up. Well, I mean, <laughs> one, one mil, <laughs> I'll punch you up. Scott one. Coker has said, you know, if if he doesn't want to do MMA, that he's going to welcome them. So you you never know if you especially with the title fight on that horizon, you could yeah. you could be lined up. That's the world we're in at the minute. You know, sign, sign me up, you know. But if they want to fight some heavyweights, then, you know, sign me up. I know they're fighting the lighter weights at the moment. Yeah. As soon as they, you know, want to come in the, in the heavyweight division, seriously, I'll, I'll do it for less. I'll do it for less well, to punch you up. <laughs> Nah, no worries. Well, again, I won't keep you any longer, but thank you so much for doing this. Um, it was great to talk to you and look forward to that fight announcement. Thank you. Appreciate having me. No worries. Have a good day, buddy. Thank, thank you. you.